The, the ALMO was created very much at uh, being able to access government funding for decent homes. I, I think things have moved on. We no longer need an ALMO for that reason, but actually we found our ALMO is uh, so successful uh, at uh, delivering services to our tenants in, uh, in, in council properties uh, and so successful also at delivering uh, new build that we feel very fortunate to have an ALMO in Cheltenham. We have our management agreement which expires in 2020, which was a, a 10 year extension. Um, and now we've got a, a 30 year business plan process because of different financial arrangements. I think that the main driver is to improve the communities in which our tenants and leaseholders live. And actually understanding you know, more about uh, what they want, what they need to be able to have a good place to live. We consulted with the council, we consulted with the communities, uh, we consulted with our staff just to make sure that the key priorities that were emerging from that were the right ones for all of those people. Um, and from that we, we had principal areas that were identified. The investment pots that we've worked through with the council are a classic piece of joint working to identify some, some business priorities that need to be addressed and to put the financial investment behind those. That's been done with the full support of the council. Chant Borough Homes are very much involved in the conversations we're having. So for instance, they're members of the GO consortium, which is basically four councils, plus um, CBH in our case, we've also got UBCO, which is our new waste company involved as well. St Paul's is a classic again, where it's very much had been needed in refurbishment. So there's been some demolition and some uh, refurbishment in that area. So phase one is now pretty much complete and phase two is hopefully coming along soon. St Paul's was one of the more deprived neighbourhoods in, in Cheltenham uh, and it's great to see that something which was admittedly of poor quality has been transformed into something which is highly desirable. People didn't particularly like walking down here or being around here. Even the people living here you know, felt threatened and insecure sometimes. Many of the properties were boarded up and just prior to actually the development starting, it, we, we had, you know, it was some significant community issues here. It's all changed. So bricks and mortar are the easy bits. Um, when you're doing a regeneration scheme, it's the social regeneration that is the challenge, not the physical regeneration. The, uh, adding quality to people's lives has been you know, one, one of the core values um, within Cheltenham Borough Home. And it's not just about actually the development of the properties, but also the communities within it as well. The new build properties are owned by CBH, whereas we manage on behalf of the council 4,500 properties and 500 leaseholder properties as well. Housing options is the uh, method of allocating uh, properties to people who need them in the town. It of course is very closely linked to uh, Jonathan Borough Homes' uh, work in managing council properties but was not specifically part of the previous contract. It is now because we feel there are uh, potential efficiencies and benefits from doing it that way. One of the things that we like to think is we're fairly open-minded about the best way of providing services, so it's not just in housing but across the board. We don't get pressures about whether it's us running a service or somebody else. It's, the key thing is, is it providing what is needed for the people of Cheltenham in the right way? I mean, the big one obviously coming along is welfare reform. We in Cheltenham Borough Homes have a common interest in supporting some of the more vulnerable people in our community, maybe who are suffering as a result of the welfare changes that the government are uh, undertaking. We are working together to ensure that people have the best possible advice. There will be difficulties along the way. Uh, there are bound to be problems that come out as this system goes through and is put into place. And Cheltenham Borough Homes are sort of our eyes and ears in many ways out there. This is about working together. The council very much let us get on with what we're doing well. Uh, letting us develop to, you know, the new areas and the existing areas and they listen to us and then also come up with ideas that can help us as well. Within CBH the staff are, are working to provide our customers with the kind of services that they want and a lot of support in doing that comes from colleagues within the council. I think the foundations are very, very strong. And I think we're very much on the right track. The opportunities are there for Cheltenham to be great. We would certainly want to continue with the uh, the relationship, I think, for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm.